All right, guys, thanks for watching this diagnostic wheel video. In this video, we are demonstrating um, the iCarsoft MB version 1.0 and uh, we've got the dashboard warning lights on screen here so we've got the ABS light we've got the run flat indicator we've got the ESB ESP we've got the traction warning light and we've also got the traction off warning light um, the kit is available at Diagnostic World it's www.diagnostic-world.com so what we're going to do is uh, diagnose this fault so we'll click into we've got this plugged into the diagnostic port first of all and then we're going to click on diagnostics. We're going to click bends. And then we're going to select our vehicle, which is a E Class W212. Here it is. Sedan, diesel, right hand steering is an E250. So we'll click manual scan. And we're going to select the ESP traction warning system. So here we go, ESP. So we'll click OK. And we're going to click on to read fault code. Read fault code. So it's got 443100. And it's got component L6 slash 1 left front axle RPM sensor. All the signal lines to the component are defective. So that gives us the information to tell us that the uh, the left front ABS sensor is faulty. Uh, so what we're going to do now is go outside and uh, show you how to remove the front left ABS sensor. We'll put a new ABS sensor in and then we'll come back into the car and reset all of the fault codes and hopefully we'll get rid of all of these warning lights here. Alright, so we've got the wheel off now. I'm going to show you where the ABS sensor is. You follow this wire here, right down into the hub. So it goes right into there. So we've got this wire here, and then this bit here is the bolt which is holding it actually into the hub. That'll be a 10 mil, I'll come to that shortly. But for now, what we need to do is get rid of this plastic housing. So uh, we've got a 10 mil there. We've got a 10 mil there, 10 mil there, we've got two fasteners here, and then underneath we've got uh, 8 mil there, 8 mil there, and 10 mil there. So let's get to work and get these off. Okay, so the reason we're going to remove this is because the ABS sensor, when you follow the wire, it actually goes in and it connects behind here. So we need to remove this part. And once you've got the bolts off, this nuts off, it should be fairly easy to remove, in theory. there we see the connection so we just need to remove a silver uh, holding clip And you can remove the ABS sensor. So that's the electrical part out. And then we've just got to come down and remove the part which is connected to the hub. Okay, so if you look under the other part of the sensor where the bolt is, you'll see, look at the other end of this spanner here. And you see we've got it on the 10mm nut. 
and this is the easiest way to get to it I believe just by going around the other side and you've got to be a little bit patient but you'll get there bit by bit and once you've done all that unravel the sensor put the new sensor in exactly in reverse and then we'll go back into the vehicle and actually um, turn off all the warning lights and reset the codes okay so we're back in the car now after putting the new ABS sensor in um, we're going to go back into our vehicle selection because we've still got the warning lights on the dashboard manual so we're going to go back in exactly the same way as we went in earlier ESP so we're going to this time we're going to clear fault memory clear trouble code completed and then watch the warning lights there we go they've all gone off and we've got a clean bill of health now in this Mercedes-Benz E-Class um, so yeah so the kit is available at Diagnostic World it's www.diagnostic-world.com I'll put the link to the, uh, the kit in the description and in the comments box below um, it's, a, it's, it's a highly intelligent diagnostic tool and it'll work on other systems such as engines, airbags, transmission, parking sensors, you name it. It's an excellent little tool here. Uh, so thanks for watching and I hope this helps.